I don't know what airport, but somewhere in Europe. And I, I prayed all night before I came to the airport to fly. And they were wheeling a man that was crippled on the wheelchair. Hmm. There was something inside of my spirit that was revolting. I knew the Lord wanted me to take authority of that situation, but I did not obey that day. Because if I had obeyed, maybe before they share the testimony, I'll be in jail first. It, may the Lord give you understanding. See, the spirit of a prophet is actually subject to the prophet. And that day, the prophet wanted, he didn't want trouble that day. So that was, but, but you see, the transmission as to the willingness of the Holy Spirit to, if we were in Ghana, South Africa, if we were in Zimbabwe, oh Jesus, at the airport, ah, we were in Europe. So there's a way I may touch him, they say, according to the law. Ah, and I might find myself somewhere. Uh, hallelujah so i put all those things into consideration and as i was thinking about it that thing that was walked into me died but i was begging the lord asking him for mercy i'm in europe it's, this is a europe may the lord give you understanding so this kind of quickening is the quickening god gives a person when he wants you to take authority over a situation now taking authority over a situation is not just something you do in the flesh because I know most of you have been trained to take authority in the flesh. That's why your efforts have not translated to, <coughs> to miracles. <laughs> most of those are efforts. Because it's mechanical. It's not spirit inspired. There is an experiment. Oh, okay. Do you still remember this scripture in the book of Psalms 92 verse 10? My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. You still remember it? And you know that the unicorn has just one horn. And with that horn, the unicorn can defend herself. And the longer the horn, the more potential of defense the unicorn has. So that scripture is saying that there's an anointing that will come upon you that will increase your authority. Yes, there's an anointing that will come upon you that will increase your authority. So what happened to Jesus was that there was an anointing that was coming on his spirit. And that anointing had increased the capacity increase the rating increase the calibration of his authority and all he needed to do was to take authority over that situation you, you will notice the way jesus began after weeping Are you there? after weeping you would think he just came to weep at the tomb of his friend his friend died when he was not around you think that's all he finished weeping and then he began to speak authoritatively say roll away the stone that's not a weeping man the authority the anointing that makes for authority has entered and ministered to his spirit and he said lazarus comfort now the, that decree he gave was not cerebral it was occasioned by walking of the holy ghost on his inside that's why it happened and you know the meaning of lazarus comfort the guy was tied so the only way he would have comfort was to be hoping with this that's but the instruction is not lazarus hop out the, the instruction was lazarus comfort so in my own mind the way i see that scripture is that that word jesus spoke brought lazarus forth he did not do like this he came forth he came forth so there's a working of the grace of god that is on your spirit man that equips you to take authority over a certain situation once upon a time there was a situation some people rose up against me i ran to go so how do we do this then he said stand still and you will see the salvation of god for the egyptians that you see today you will see them no more they are only relevant today you will not have any business praying about these people forever so treat this matter as something that is temporary treat this matter as something that is not rooted in the future it is a fleeting reality that you will forget. You will see them no more. So I trivialize it because I have received light from God. Do you understand that? So Apostle Paul is saying there is a working of God within our hearts. And we need to master that working if we are going to work with God effectively. Is that clear? So the Urim and the Tumim talks about what we call the inward witness 
the inward witness is an inward activity of God that is designed to bring you into the kind of enlightenment that only the Spirit of God can give. Is that clear? It's an inward witness. And when I say inward witness, what I mean is that the Spirit of God is communicating with your human spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. The Bible reveals in Romans chapter 8 verse 16 that the Spirit of God he bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. There is no way you could have known that you are a child of God if not for the witness. The Holy Ghost is educating your human spirit. Is bearing witness with your human spirit. Is on the strength of the witness that the Holy Spirit bears with your human spirit. That the knowing or the knowledge of revelation about your standing and your status with God is revealed. Exactly. There's no other way you can know experientially that you are a child of God other than the inward witness. I know there are provisions in scripture that guarantee that if you believe in your heart, are you there? The Lord Jesus and confess with your mouth that he was raised from the dead, you shall be saved. So, believing in his lordship, confessing his immortality gives you access to salvation. That scripture is provided in the Bible. But the organic experiential aspect of knowing your status, are you there? It's not a letter matter. It's not, it's not based on letters. It's based on a walking within. Are you there? The reality of everything that is written in letters is made alive to become an experiential possibility in the Holy Ghost as it walks in your spirit. So there are things that you don't have capacity to know about. You cannot verify. In those matters, you will need a witness. An ancient that existed before time to give you perspective about those matters. So he's inside of your spirit, educating your human spirit and bringing your human spirit into the consciousness of things that are established in the heavens. I saw seven cloven tongues of fire descending from heaven. I press further to know why. Understanding came to me that there are seven individuals here, seven intercessors here. God wants to activate them. It's even coming stronger. It's even coming stronger. Seven intercessors. The flames of fire will come upon you. The flames of fire. Flames. Flames from heaven. Flames from heaven will come upon you. The more you press, the clearer it becomes. The more you press, the clearer it becomes.
coming into this place. Oh, 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 oh. in heaven in heavenly places <laughs> i was in heaven i was just there oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god you were singing one song now la, 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 la. what did the one singing that's the song of the moment now let's now only one yes go on go on go on go on go La 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 so yes there's another deposit there so we tap into the foundation of that transaction that was done to bring bondage to you to bring bondage to your household to bring bondage to your siblings today in the name of jesus i command that you look upon your life break help me touch our umbilical cord just just touch it loser la 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 Yes, what happened there? You don't need just tell me what happened. Okay, okay. But, now okay now bring her you and her come come here so you stand there they will come and meet you la 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 you see, I sang that song so that I can receive clarity. Sometimes, sometimes there's a song of the spirit. And you need to sing it. And as you sing it, clarity begins to come. Listen, listen. Someone came here and the reason why the Lord brought you here was because he wants to renew the anointing upon your life. I felt the touch of God on my head. And I knew that God wanted to anoint someone. Yes, he's already doing it. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, from my left hand side to my right hand side, that one that you want to anoint, put the anointing, put the anointing upon that life, put it upon that life, put it upon that life, put it upon that life. 
Yes, sir, this testimony is very significant because you spent my friend from Abla it with a word of knowledge that there's somebody here that had a fracture, a pain at the lower back of the neck, back, and she is exactly depressed. So, for how many years have you been in this condition? At least for four. Four years. Yes, sir. My friend from Atlanta yes, is healed. Someone put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, and your, and your, my left knee. Your left knee was healed. I fell over 11 years ago. I had surgery and it was like a tendon muscle that was ripped. And for a while, it stopped me from walking, being mobile, things like that. And the weight came. And even now, when I would walk, it would pop. So much so that it became load bearing on my right side where there was no issue. So I had pain in both. And because I sit, my hip bone had tilted like this, such that my legs, they're the same size, but because my hip bone had tilted, this side was longer than the other side. So I've been going seeing chiropractor to get well so that I can get out and get mobile again. But this pain here, <laughs> because of the pressure, because of my hip. So this pain here and this pain here. Lord, we give you praise and glory. Let this miracle be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, what happened there? Our brother here dislocated his hand. Dislocated his hand. The prayer was going on, he was completely healed. Now, so, so, okay. What could you not do before? Not even lift my infant. Oh, you, you couldn't lift it? With this arm. Only with this one. Oh, you, you couldn't lift an infant? Oh, your son with this hand? With this one, yes. With this one? Yeah. We need to get something for you to lift now. Please get a baby here. La, 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 la. And if, if the son is here, bring the son. Not carry his baby. That's a serious. That's a serious. That's a serious. Isaiah. What's his name? Isaiah. Isaiah. Oh, the anointing is on Isaiah now. I didn't know that the anointing can come on kids. Lord, I bless Isaiah in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. God bless you indeed. In Jesus' name. This brother had a three-day-old coat that followed him to this place. It defied medication, and at the instance of your prayer, the coat left him. The coat left this him. Evening. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. It is permanent. I'm still waiting for two people that God healed on their eyes. I'm still waiting for them before I run away from you. There are two people in the congregation that had an eye miracle yes what happened to him our brother here had a serious migraine and after the prayer is completely gone after the prayer for how long have you been in this condition no since the beginning this is the beginning of this all right lord in the name of jesus we give you praise we give you glory we exalt your name oh it is permanent i'm waiting for that person that was healed on the eyes la, 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 la. La 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 Yes, what happened to her? He had an eye condition that had lasted 14 straight years. 14 straight years. And now she can read. You couldn't read your Bible before this time without the aid of glasses. Yes. How long did you have you been using these glasses? Maybe 15 years. 15 years. Somebody needs to shout to Jesus. All right. Hold on. There is a reason why I insisted that the people that are healed on the eyes should come. Because that's not the last blessing he wants to give them. He said they will open the physical eyes so that they can open the spiritual eyes. So the physical eyes have been touched. Now the spiritual eyes will be touched. So you can read. Did you try it out? Yes. Okay. 
this is uh, the, the, the world of Nehemiah, the son of Jekyll and it came to pass. Okay, she can read. She, can. <laughs> she, came, she came with her glasses. Where are you sitting? Right. They don't believe you, so please go and get them. They don't believe. You know, a lot of people came here to check him. I said, Who we'll check him out? You see, I have nothing to do with what is going on here. It's just that I know Jesus a little. I know him a little. <laughs> Most of the time, people will not believe until they see. Putting something like this on for 15 years and getting to read without the aid of glasses is a sign that Jesus is alive. I also had basic surgery. What's that? It's a surgery for me to be able to drive without glasses. And it worked for a while, seven years ago. Oh, it's not permanent. It worked for, seven, for, for a while. Oh, the Jesus option is better. We thank God for the surgeons, the eye doctors, the health people. They are doing a great deal, but the Jesus option is better. All right, so there's something I want to give you. It will, you, you will have an enhancement, a spiritual enhancement. Your spiritual eyes will begin to, when you pray, you start seeing pictures father in the name of jesus you want to open the eyes of those that you heal on the eyes so right now i ask that the anointing responsible for visions in the spirit that you will put it upon your servant that from this night let strange encounters begin let it flow from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet let it become stronger 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 in the name of jesus yeah what happened to this man here's another eye intervention eye and intervention intervention miracle she's here okay come this way okay. and he, did you try it out did you read that and you can read it yes do you also have glasses so i wear glasses i thought that i went to the eye doctor earlier this year and i think she was saying that she almost had to put it on my license that i needed to wear glasses because i couldn't see when i was driving even just now reading like up there i would asking my friends next to me like what is that what does it say up there romans chapter what but i can see from here now ministering a possible real messiah from here i can read so you can read now i can see this and i was wearing glasses i just never knew like even in class i wouldn't be able to see like i always like to sit in the back but i was just always struggling to see now there's a way nigerian people shout hallelujah that's how i want you to shout right now <laughs> That's more like it. That's more like it. Oh, can we do that one more time? I'm just, I'm feeling. Oh, <laughs> glory to God. So there's something I have for you, and I want to ask the Lord to place an anointing upon. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you healed her physical eyes. Can you open up her spiritual eyes, Jesus, and let grace come upon you? So that in night visions, in open visions, in trances, you will see the things you have not learned and you will understand the things that you have not been taught from this day henceforth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Finally, the final one. Her sister, yes, she had foot ache and tooth ache. Foot and tooth. Yes. So at the instance of the prayer, she was completely healed. Come. Maybe tomorrow I will tell you some stories of mission work in the woods, in the wilderness, and the kind of things you encounter. But his soul is free now. Yeah. And so also, are these ones that are here and their families have been delivered. Yeah. The ones that could not marry can marry now. Yeah. The ones that cannot conceive will conceive now. The ones that cannot stay on a job for more than three months, you will stay now. The ones that have been tormented by near miracle syndrome, enter into your destiny in the name of Jesus. Wait. 
now one of one of you on this stage do, do me a favor all of you come up come up because i'm seeing something one of us i don't know which person but one of us here the lord is anointing one of you on this stage he's anointed i don't know but it's is in fact he interrupted me to mention this he's anointing one of you on this stage and his hand will become strong on the person that i'm talking about it will become intense because your destiny is shifting your destiny is shifting and there's an anointing that will come upon you to aid you to aid you to enter into this new face of the glory of god that god is bringing on your life so one of you and it's, it's becoming stronger it's becoming stronger i don't know who the person is but it's becoming stronger becoming stronger becoming stronger Holy Ghost. step into the open door that the lord has secured for your destiny there's someone in the congregation you have had a long-standing issue long-standing issue that has defied every solution today that yoke has been lifted from your life you don't need to believe you don't need to believe it Yes, what happened to him? <laughs> Can I lay hands on that person? Yahweh <laughs> Listen to me, listen to me. We have an emergency. For those of you that have never been to the continent of Africa, for which I invite you, you may not understand what I'm about to say. Maybe I will explain. Oh, you will be afraid. Oh. I just remember that I'm in America. Lord, give me words to explain this. Are you with me for instance there's a spirit called the spirit of divination the sign of that spirit is a serpent the python spirit you know that lady in the book of acts chapter 16 that said she had a spirit of divination if you check it in the greek that's python just check it divination check it so yeah that's that's a python spirit What I'm seeing here is a spirit that looks like an animal. I will not go beyond that. Any anyone that gave this guy this spirit is the twelfth level wizard. Anyone? He's born again now. I know. That's why he's still alive. Are you there? But we want to cast out this way. There will be a reaction. A strange reaction. But don't run away because I know some of you, you want to escape from... Don't escape. In the name of Jesus, don't escape. 
so there's going to be a reaction i'm just telling you before time and then the spirit will come out stretch your hand in this direction the spirits of the forest by which this young man has been bound today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i destroy your power i destroy your power i destroy your power go from him in jesus name That which was delivered to you in the land of Kenya. Tonight, I disarm you. I break your power. Let his soul go free in the name of Jesus. La 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 la